The important thing that we deal with in the legislature is to put together the budget for the state. And that's a legislative function. It's not an executive office function. The governor can make recommendations, he can make requests, but the whole process of putting together a budget to a view that the state operates under is a legislative function. And, and what's interesting about it is, you know, it's kind of boring and, you know, you go, I go talk to folks and they say, I don't want to, we don't want to talk about budget, we want to talk about, you know, that grandma thing made everybody so angry, or immigration is another hot button topic, or, you know, a lot of hot button topics, but the budget is really important because it really reflects our values. There's nothing that so clearly reflects the values of the legislature than the budget. And one of the things we've seen uh, of ten, in a tangible fashion in terms of how it reflects our values and our priorities is for years and years and years, 20 years, we've seen education sort of kick to the curb and, and take a back seat to other funding priorities. Funding priorities such as transportation. Transportation has done very, very well in the state of Utah for many, many years. And look, I, I get it. I want to have a good infrastructure too. But um, you've got to be balanced in these things. And, and what we've seen is a sustained attack over many years, especially on public education and the funding through public education. We saw with vouchers. Vouchers, of course, was defeated uh, by the referendum vote a few years ago. But the legislators have not forgotten about how much they love vouchers and how much they dislike private education or public education and UEA in particular, the Utah Education Association. And so each session we go back and education sort of gets, has to fend off these attacks. And uh, we saw that again this year, that there were many, many proposals presented to do little things that were basically poking a stick in the side of public education and UEA. One of them was this, what I think is just an absurd idea of assigning a letter grade to schools. I, that was something that was proposed and went through the legislature. So how we funded education was this year in the budget, we uh, did a little better actually in the last two years because the governor really placed a high priority on funding education. He was pushing that we do a better job of that and we did for the most part. You see the economy is starting to recover. Revenues are starting to increase, come up a little higher than they have in the last couple of years. And we were fortunate that um, we were able to make a budget that took that into account. And so we renewed, we restored funding for public education to last year's level and were able to fund growth for next year. So that was the first time that happened in a couple of years that we funded growth for new students. We're still behind where we were even two or three years ago, but at least we didn't have any more cuts in public education. Higher education, which is uh, the colleges and universities across the state, didn't do so well. We had a 2% cut in higher education, which wasn't good. That was distressing. Again, a reflection of our priorities. However, we did find money, about $150 million, to build a few new buildings around the state, and uh, I have mixed feelings about that. There are some building projects that I was distressed to see go through. Either I didn't think they were necessary, or I thought we could have delayed them another year or two, and we could have taken that money and used it for higher education. Um, so anyway, we, we went through the budget process. There were, fortunately, we were able to avoid any more cuts in the prison pod. There was a pod that they were scheduled to close down the prison and release about 400 prisoners earlier than they were scheduled to be released. We avoided doing that. We were able to fund that in a way that doesn't let these uh, prisoners out early, which I think is good. Um, we had some cuts that were scheduled to be made in social services, um, how, how we funded domestic violence um, programs. There was a program that dealt with domestic violence victims that was scheduled to be cut. I think we ended up backfilling that and getting that whole covered up pretty much in a good way. So on the whole, we did a lot better with our budget this year than we have in the last couple of years, which was largely a function of just the economy improving. So, that's the budget stuff.